Hello and welcome everyone, I'm the Sparrow Jenny and today we're starting a let's play on the game Ever One. You know it? You don't? Now you do! It's a game published and developed by White Paper Games and we're about to start it out. Boom! Press any key, done. Start a new game. And I already played for about 10 minutes just to see how the graphics going on and how the sound sounded. So yeah, I want to override it and send that gameplay to hell. Hey, it's me. Listen, I, I'm sorry for the things I said earlier on. It's just, God, I really don't think you should go to that place. I, I, don't, I don't think they care. Not like they should. And before you think it, I know how it feels to want to feel safe, to want more. You know I do it, but, but Jesus, do, do you know how they view you? Just another patient to squeeze money out of. Please, don't go tonight. I'm freaking scared. For you and for me. Here we go. That guy was talking to me. And he's somewhat concerned. That should concern me as well. We teach, they restore. You remember, ever. Institute of Telepathic Medicine. Discuss the benefits which your local other representative. Hmm. Keeping your fondest memories alive. Click left mouse button to interact. Wow. Fading music. I enjoyed this sort of cell shading graphics mixed with some realism. Advances in genetic and psychological sciences led to a series of astounding breakthroughs regarding the human genome. At the forefront of these experiments, the Ishin Initiative discovered and developed new ways of mapping the human mind, expanding the knowledge of our species. Klaxon sound. You know, you didn't really have to subtitle every single thing the in the game. Starts with itself. The Ishin Initiative discovered patient zero. Am I supposed to stay here and hear all that? Ah, screw you. Other Institute. So we're in some sort of memory clinic of some sort. Type in with the keyboard. Click left mouse button to interact. Uh, Marty Williams, Robert Beard, Ben Islop. And now I can make my own name. Oh, these games that don't allow huge names. I'm gonna go with this. I'm a patient now. Pa 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 patient, patient. Yes, right. let's get acquainted. There should be a register on the reception desk. So once you've signed in, grab the key card from the top drawer and head on down. You will need it to gain access to the lower floors. Hmm. Here, here we are. It's my card. Two six seven one zero zero two. Whatever. J N two zero five. That's it. That's what I was trying to say. Staff are advised to prepare changes what? for initial projection. Well, it seems you best get a move on. There's plenty to do. And for you, plenty to see and discover. I'm going to be guiding you through the process of restoration this evening. And hopefully ensuring that nothing terrible happens to you or our client. Why would something terrible I'm happen to me? Chamber 3. When holding an object, use E to examine it. Like this. Okay. That door is open. I see there's a pattern. It's whitish. And those are red. 
So the whitish ones are opened or unlocked. Items can be stored here. Um, why would I store an item here though? Not really sure, but I can put it there anyway. So I'm out of here. I turned on the radio. Waste paper basket. There's a lot of interacting objects around. Okay, this one is missing. Clipboard. Hey James, I have totally set up the greatest prank to get McCarthy back this weekend. Especially after what he did to my sandwich last week. Who, who, who has written this? I found out that he always works late on Saturday evenings, usually on his own or on maintenance within restoration chamber number 3. You're not going to believe what I've cooked up. I replaced the fuse in the rebrand power box with the wrong type. When McCarthy comes to the power check on the chair, it's going to make huge bang. He's going to be scared to death. Who has written this though? And where, I'm where am I supposed to go? Wait a second, you know I like to explore everything. Come on, run, hush. I was crouching. Offices and gallery. Click left mouse button to take the item. Pills. Click right mouse button to put back item. No, I want it. Oh, come on. I can only carry one item? I want the needle. As a weapon. I'll need the weapon. But I'll probably need the card as well, so... I shouldn't really try to make up stuff. Screw that. Well, wow. such a big room. Wait a second, what is in this room? Why? Is that secret? I have no idea what I'm doing here, and I suppose this is one of those games where you discover stuff along the way. Restorers may only carry one item. There you go. Restorers? I'm a restorer? Place keycard in the zone before you pick up real. How can I do that? Oh, there you go. I have no idea how that happened, but it's done. Uh, really? A lot of places where I can put items? Wait a second. It said wheel. I would supposedly only have to turn it up, but screw that. I am out of here. I'm gonna take my card. Uh, no, I want my card. There you go. Still learning. It's basic stuff. Because boy, this game is terribly hard. I can't even jump to a freaking step. There you go. But nothing here. Oh, is this a biodome? Am I being target of some experiment? Get stapler, get hole puncher. Am I supposed to do all that? I see some flashing. Why is that flashing? I have no idea what I'm doing here or what is the objective in the game. I don't want to store any items for God's sake. Remember to meet in the gallery at 1 o'clock in the morning. A new projection is due to start and it's going to be incredibly interesting. You know that accident that occurred a few weeks ago? Well, it's that same patient. Meet me in the locker room at midnight if you want to join us, Robert. The absence of people 
is something that scares me a little. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, sometimes these procedures don't, uh, how should I put it, <sighs> go to plan. But really, there's nothing to see here anyway. Shouldn't you be heading to restoration chamber number three to meet me? Yes, but uh, I'm an explorer by nature. And you scared the hell out of me. I hope that doesn't happen too often. Because this is not supposedly a terror game. So I am supposed to come in here. I always go to the wrong side. That is me. That's all me. Chamber 1 and 2. Pretty wrecked, if you ask me. Look, I can just stay here in my own house. There, the game is done. Quit. Let's play. Done. Thank you for watching, and I'll. S no, I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. Restoration Chamber 3. That is the way, but. Let me just check here if there's anything to scare me out, as always. Re re restructuring memory, cognitive psychology. No, 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 no! Give me my card. My card is important. Can I play chess? Nope, because it's not a living chess. So okay, I am unveiling what I'm actually doing here. I seem to be a test subject of some sort. And this is the correct way. Beautiful, isn't it? A miracle of the 20th century. A window into the minds of others and a tool to cure disease and illness. But it would be nothing without the likes of you. It's interesting to see such an old-looking seat in a machine like this. The setup. I need the electrical input for the Rembrandt installation rerouting. You can access it from that terminal over there. A uh, terminal over there should be that one. Can I punch? No, I can't punch. I am against violence. Restorers may only carry one item. Place item in the zone before you pick up a fuse. Pick up fuse. Oh, for God's sake. Why can't anything work around here? Whoops. Okay. We need to replace the fuse. You'll need to take the blown one out and replace it with the correct fuse. By the computers over there. Can you believe that I still haven't figured out how to drop stuff? Honestly, I'm pressing E and I'm pressing left mouse click and that should be it. I think I should have read earlier what it said. Because I can't drop the freaking thing. The strongest challenge in this game is dropping items. Not enemies, not dragons, not arrows in the knee, but dropping items. Are you freaking kidding me? What? It's just left click like this. The biggest challenge was to left click the panel. I'm such a noob. We need a new fuse. So I'm gonna take this with me. And it's a 300 fuse. And it's on the other side, I believe. The lady is already mad at me because I couldn't do things right. This is... no, 120. This doesn't do it. 300. This is the one I need. There you go, let's take it. They don't have any difference between them, so... And Dumby would probably take one hour to figure it out. Nope. I'm not reading all of this. But she's a female. 
age 69, which is an interesting number to say the least. No, I'm not being a pervert. Stop thinking that. You're the one who thought about that. Aha! Give my card back. I'm not so sure about this. This is starting to look like the Inception movie. But there's no other option, is it? Right. A few things before we project. Our client, Jean, is currently in a very delicate state. Our primary focus is to ensure that we clear this area of her mind from the plaque buildup that is causing the disease. In order to do that from within, we're going to need to use her own memories to reinforce the medical treatment she's receiving. I'm getting into someone's head and into someone's memory. Okay, this really is the Inception game. But I am supposedly... No, I'm not the patient. The patient is Jean. So, I am the rescuer of some sort. I'm gonna try and fix her brain. And what what is happening here? Are you ready? That's what Illidan said. I don't feel safe. Ah, better. Now, I know this may feel a little strange, being new technology, but please don't worry about it. We all get used to change eventually, don't we? Uh... Uh-oh. You are rather... Relax yourself, because you're not in here. Getting into women's head, that should be a man's dream every day. Whoa. Okay, listen up. You are in your case. You're probably going to come back here a lot, so please take some time to get acquainted with your surroundings. It keeps most restorers' sanity intact. For a short while, anyway. Press T to travel to the case and back. What the mind thinks, the heart transmits. I'm in my own case? No, no! Wait! I didn't really want to do that. Huh. Thought I was gonna travel back or something. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, my Chris, my crit is big. Crate or Chris? What? My sort of house? Where I pray? Oh. I play with a guitar and I don't even touch it. I play with my mind. Ah, feels good, doesn't it? I want to mention that the game feels rather smooth. It's so fluid. Actually is. I have a top end system, but nevertheless, the effects and all are cool. Oh, this is a chamber for photography or so of some sort. Nice. Okay, am I a detective or I have a chest? that I don't really know the password for. 
and a bathroom. But I can take a pee. And take a bath. It feels much better without nasty stuff. Okay, travel uh, with T. T. What? Jesus, I just pressed the key. Beer? That looks more like champagne. Harmonica? I'll take it. And play it? Can I? Mm, no. How could I use stuff? Not sure. Can I take a bottle? I would really like a bottle instead. But... I can. I can. It's worth noting that if you feel an item might be useful later on in your journey, and you have no use for it now, you can always store it in the case and collect it at any time. Our sole purpose this evening is to track the memory and pinpoint its location so we can cleanse it of any disease present. Everything you're seeing in front of you is a visual environment pieced together from our client's subconscious mind. Inception. Barren wastelands or an abstract painting reimagined. It's all completely tangible. All I can see are brain scans of tissue degradation confirming my previous diagnosis of dementia. Should you want to. Both are incredibly important if we are to succeed and understand our client's needs. Now, if you just give this me way is a second, I'll have some more details for Should you. I get back to my case and store are there a beer? In the uh, I think that should be a good idea. Press T. There you go. It's pretty quick getting from one side to another, so... I guess I'll just leave the harmonica here and travel back. And now I'll pick up the beer. Uh, like this. There you go. Might be useful, you never know. There's two bottles, I could store one and keep the other, but... I'll just take one. Because I don't intend to get drunk. Devlin Mine. Okay, we're trying to cure the girl's mind by traveling on her memories. She has some sort of disease. Now that's very modern technology. Oh, this is the house that we had on the menu. The game looks pretty good. It doesn't try to be revolutionary. But at the same time, it really looks good. A wrench. Okay. This might be... Uh, I don't know. Troubling. But I have a lot of shelves, so I reckon I'll have a lot of room for this stuff. And it's quick. It's quick to travel from one side to another, so... I guess I'll just store them for later. Might be needed. I'm not sure of the kind of puzzles that we will have. But I know we will have some. Here's a note. Mr. Moran, it has come to my attention during my inspection of the mining facilities here at Devlin that many of the workers in the pit are unsettled, uneasy and as a result unproductive. There is a clearly a correlation between the pitfall working conditions that these men have to endure and their motivation to do protective and worthwhile work. Lifts and descent devices are clearly in disrepair. Ven ventilation in the chambers below are blocked, causing fume and smoke buildup. With these issues and more in mind, it is with my sincere apologies that I had decided that Devil in Mind should close temporarily until these issues meet the standards required by your government governing union body okay so the mine stopped because there's no conditions to work there checked that's an information I got <laughs>